This video will address the repair of the 3 quarter inch Wilkins 350. The tools needed for this repair are a flathead screwdriver and a socket wrench with a 3 8 inch socket. To begin the repair, use your socket wrench and 3 8 inch socket to remove the four bolts holding the black vessel onto the bronze body or cradle. Once you have removed the bolts, you can now remove the vessel from the body. Insert your flathead screwdriver into the small notches on either side of the vessel to pry it out of the body. The vessel should pull straight up and out of the body. To remove the checks, push on the inlet check valve with your finger or the handle of your screwdriver until the number one and number two check valve slide out the outlet of the vessel. The vessel is also marked with an arrow showing the flow of water. You will push the check valves in the same direction as the flow of water. Although check valve 1 and 2 look different, they will disassemble in the same manner. To disassemble the check modules, locate the small notch between the check seat and spring retainer on each check. Slip your flathead screwdriver into the small notch to pry the check open. Be sure to hold the check module securely as it is spring-loaded. The rubber and poppet make up one single unit, so if the rubber is damaged, the poppet will need to be replaced. Make sure to examine the check seat for damage. If the check seat is damaged, the whole check module will need to be replaced. To replace the rubber on the number two check module, repeat these same steps. After you have replaced the rubber and inspected the seat, you can reassemble the check module. To reassemble the check module, press the spring retainer and seat together until they snap or pop into place. Next, you will replace the check O-rings. Be sure to lube the O-rings after you have installed them so that the check valves can slide into the vessel smoothly. You will also want to inspect the inside walls of the vessel to make sure that they are clean so that the check valves can slide into them easily. To reinstall the check modules, First, place the number one check valve into the vessel with the inlet side facing towards the vessel. The number two check module will slide into the vessel with the word in facing the inlet as well. Once both check valves have been installed, you can replace the O-rings on either side of the vessel. You will also want to make sure that both O-rings have been lubricated. The vessel is designed to fit only one way and should slide easily back into the body. You may need to rock the vessel back and forth in order to make sure that the O-rings do not get pinched. Remember that the vessel is O-ring sealed, so there is no need to over tighten the vessel retaining bolts. Thank you for watching. We'd love to hear your feedback in the comment section below. For more videos and repair resources, check out backflowparts.com. To hear about our upcoming videos or any other updates, subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media.